Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract a certain number of items from your array in Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, Power BI, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so we're going to be extracting a certain amount of items from an array in Power Automate. The reason I want to do this is because sometimes when I'm working with these large SharePoint lists or Dataverse lists, there could be thousands, hundreds of items in it. And if I'm writing a Power Automate um, custom code, I don't want that code to run over a thousand items. I just want it to run over, let's say, the first 20 cases, just so I know that it works correctly before I actually run it into production. I don't want it to run for a thousand items because I don't want to sit there and wait, let's say 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video and it's going to be using the take function. I have my SharePoint list that I'll be working with. So this SharePoint list has thousands of items in it, but let's say I want to write the function and I want to test it for let's say the first five, 10 items just to make sure it works. So we will navigate over to Power Automate I will choose a new flow. This is going to be an instant cloud flow. I'm just going to type take function because this is what the function in Power Automate actually is. So we're going to manually trigger this flow. I'm going to get items. I want to grab all the items from my SharePoint list. So it's going to be marketing. Let's say I want to do the employee log list number three. I'm going to set the pagination to let's say 5,000. All right, so the next item is going to be apply to each. I'm using an apply to each because it, I want to apply it to each of the get items in this SharePoint list. So if I went ahead and just did, let's say, get items, so it will get all of the items in my SharePoint list, and I don't want to do that. In my case, I only want to do the first 25 items just to make sure my function works correctly that I will type out. So I will go ahead and copy this. So I'm just clicking within the box right here, pressing Control A on my keyboard, then Control C. And then we will remove that. And then we will click on the FX button. So this will give us a little pop up. And then I want to start typing take. So the take function, the collection from where to take the first count objects. So I will go ahead and paste in what I copied. I will remove the curly bracket off the end and the curly bracket and the add symbol off the front. So it is looking at the outputs from get items. And then I'll do a comma right here. So it's gonna be the count. So how many items that you want to have actually run. In my case, we'll just do the first 25. That should be quick enough for me to test my function. All right, and then I will just do a compose right here. And then I will just create uh, some custom function right here. We'll do if my first name is equal to Nick, I want to return yes. If it is not, I don't want to return yes, I will return no. I'll just do a quick equals function in Power Automate. So if equals, my object is going to be item. Title, because that is the title field in my SharePoint. And if that equals Nick, then I want to return yes, else I want to return no. Okay, so that looks correct to me. So the take function works really well. I don't want to run this for 5,000 items until I know it actually works. So testing it over a smaller number We'll ensure I'm not sitting here for 25 minutes. I can get it done within less than under a minute just to see if this function actually works. Uh, oh, another case I find this to be very helpful with is if you're importing a bunch of dates from, let's say, an Excel file into a SharePoint list. So there are gonna be a lot of issues that pop up if you import dates in, because sometimes you'll get the serial number and you want the ISO number. This way, if you only take like the first 25 cases, it will tell you immediately if there's a failure. 
something's not working right. So I rec definitely recommend using the take function if you're importing dates. All right, so it looks like my flow completed. Uh, the get items did actually take a long time because that SharePoint list does contain a lot of items. Let's go ahead and look at my compose. So it looks like the fourth item should return yes. Let's navigate through really quick. And there we go. So my function worked. So that's a good use of using the take function in Power Automate. I hope you guys liked the video. If you want to see more Power Automate, feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment if you're having any issues. And I will catch you in the next video.